Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to thank you for another beautiful day that you have allowed us to wake up, dear Lord, and experience even these few moments of the morning so far. You have allowed us to experience it. As we always say, no man knows the day or the hour when we'll be taken out of this place. But as we have life, we just pray that we use it wisely in serving you, dear Lord, as faithful servants. That we're not going after or our own desires and our own will as unfaithful servants, but that we actually commit our whole life and self unto you so that you may direct us in the path of righteousness for you alone are righteous and for this knowledge dear lord we just thank you also knowing that we serve a god that is good we serve the lord god almighty the creator of all things who has revealed himself in you lord jesus christ and knowing you we know of our heavenly father because without you there is no knowledge of the father so as we seek the Father, we pray that you re are revealed to us and in us by your word and by your Holy Spirit, that you lead us unto all understanding, dear Lord, and let us not lean on our own, and that we be unified in you, Lord Jesus Christ, in mind, soul, body, being the body of Christ, and being like you, conform to your image. So dear Lord, as we read your word, dear Lord, Whatever chapter, whatever scripture it is, we know that there is something in it for us to learn from because everything was written and recorded for our understanding. And we are in such a privileged age that we have so many records and accounts of things of old, things that have come to pass, things that are prophesied to come. We have all of the knowledge here and we just pray that we're not just reading these as just mere words, but that actually that we are. We are seeking you in tr in spirit and in truth to know those things that we ought to know. And when we know, we just pray that we are humble enough to show the love of Christ, the light of Christ, and be good stewards and examples of you in this world of darkness. As always, when we do go through our tests and trials also, this knowledge shall help us. And even your spirit shall lead us throughout these times so that we are conquerors and that we overcome all things of this world. And that we are able to train up the children in the way that they should go. So when they are of age, they shall never depart from you. So lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning as we ask each and every morning. To the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. All right. So 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24 says, only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he hath done for you. Amen. All right, just an overview of this chapter. All right, so Samuel, as we're talking. Yeah, so Samuel, as we're talking about Jeremiah yesterday, we saw that Jeremiah was one faithful um, prophet that um, God called from early on early on in his life right he called him to be a prophet likewise samuel was 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 like this we can read the, the um, story of samuel and his mother um hannah his father elkanah and that that story i think the first few um, chap, couple chapters of samuel spoke about how he was ordained to be a prophet right and um as i said he was a he was one of them faithful ones um i don't recall any scripture speaking about Samuel being unfaithful. Even so, like he was there giving his, his uh, testimony to the people of Israel in this chapter. He was like, "If you, have I defrauded you? Have I done anything to you? Have I done? Just name it and then I'll, I'll reimburse you. And the people couldn't even find fault with Samuel, right? So we saw where he was a faithful um, prophet and, and judge of Israel, right? And this is why God chose him. This is why God chose him. And he, he loved God because to love God is to follow him, to keep his commandments. And, and as I said, I cannot find one account in the scriptures where Samuel 
um, defied God. Nothing comes to mind. But if somebody finds a verse and chapter, you can share it. Right? But nevertheless, God used them as an instrument to judge Israel. Right? We know that um, Israel Isa was the, the chosen people of God according to selection. Right? God chose them out amongst all the peoples of the time. He chose Abraham, his faithful servant, and through Abraham he said he shall he shall make him see his seed prosper. And we know that he had Isaac, and through Isaac there was Jacob who was renamed Israel, where the promise was passed along and through the line of Judah, who was the son of Israel, we got Christ, right? But anyway, just backtracking back to this time here. This is the first time um Israel kinda openly well let me not say openly because they were defying god they were sinning against god right up to this point right they were forgetting him they were doing what they want to do they were trying they were serving god in their own eyes in their own way right which as we always well as sometime i normally mention that we cannot serve god any way that we decide right no right even if you think that you're celebrating god we can't just do it in any way that we decide. We have so many records where people thought they were doing something righteous. Well, thought that they were serving God and they weren't, right? Even though they were doing so, it might, so the outside, it might have looked like, oh, these people serving God, but we saw where God wasn't uh, receiving any praises or worship from those individuals, right? So as I said, we, can't, we, 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 we see this, the case with Israel right along the, the scriptures and in this chapter or the chapter that precede this in and around this time let me speak about this chapter this chapter was just speaking about um the people ask for a king right they actually ask for this is the uh, first time israel asks for a king to reign over them right and um that i remember yeah yeah the, yeah, that I remember. And um, the, 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 the bad thing about it is that God Almighty was in the midst of them. The God of all creation was in the midst of them. And he was their king. But guess what? They were looking to the nations around them and said, but this nation of king and that nation of king and this nation of king. Oh, I want king. We want king. We want a king over us also. So as again, you see, when their eyes turn away from the one true God and start looking on, onto the nation, onto the world, if we, if we want to put it in today's context, they went astray and caused and, and erred, right? They erred in that they looked to the world and how the world did things and wanted to do like them, where that completely defied God because they were asking for a mortal king over them when God Almighty, the King of all kings, the Lord God Almighty, was amongst them and he was their king right but god suffered it because we know that there there was a plan right because we know christ was coming on the scene but they didn't know it at the time and yet still as i said we can't just serve god any and any way that we choose to right we have to do so in spirit and in truth which leads on to this verse here when we talk about um only fear in the lord we're talking about that the other morning, who are you going to fear? The Lord God Almighty or the devil? And as I said, fear is to, to, to give reverence, to give homage, right? If you um, fear something, you most likely are going to be controlled by that thing. And who is better to be controlled by than the God who has all in good intentions for us, right? And somebody might say, I don't want to be controlled by anybody. Just, just humble yourself. In, there's some thing, someone that you're following, right? And as I said, there's only one that's going to lead us onto the path of eternal life, and that is Christ Jesus. And any other thing that you follow, any other thing that you fear, any other thing that you reverence is going to lead to destruction. If it's yourself, if it's the world, if it's other people, if it's mankind, if it's Satan, any other thing besides from Christ Jesus is going to lead unto destruction right so fear in the lord is to depart from evil fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom true wisdom <coughs> right and we have to serve him in spirit and in truth and we only can serve him in spirit and in truth if we serve him 
by and through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, right? No one comes to the Father but by him, Christ Jesus. And he said to do it with all your heart, because out of the heart, all the issues of life proceed. Right? So again, we 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 have the scriptures here. Just just follow, <laughs> we just have to follow it and just be humble enough to know when we are wrong. But uh, I'm not gonna leave it at that this morning. Um, any questions that you want to send in, you can send them to the word at each each one dot org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to His word, according to His principles, according to His will, being led by His Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.